Let's talk about the importance of thinking more like an entrepreneur and less like an employee for more business success and growth. Hey, mompreneurs, welcome back for another episode of the Good Enough Mompreneur Podcast. Thank you for joining me. This is a new series of short episodes on Fridays, kind of tide you over the weekend and give you quick little tips from my experience on how we can be better entrepreneurs and moms. So today's topic is going to be seven ways that you can think more like it and an entrepreneur as opposed to an employee, because really usually one of the biggest sticking points for becoming a new entrepreneur and growing your business is realizing the mind shift between becoming an employee or becoming an entrepreneur rather than being an employee, because many of us don't start out as an entrepreneur, we start out as employees first. So here are the seven ways where you can start thinking more like an entrepreneur as opposed to an employee. And I would like to argue that really in great employees actually think more like entrepreneurs because they begin to understand how they are a cog in the wheel, how they impact the entire business, and they actually become more valuable employees and have more leadership skills. So even if you're not an entrepreneur, I think these tips are really important to making you more, a more valuable employee. Okay. So number one is knowing how you impact the bottom line, knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing what you bring to the business. Number two is knowing how interconnected we all are, not only with who we work with and clients, but in general. And what is really important to understanding that is having an abundance mindset versus a lack mindset and really letting go of competition, really seeing an abundance of opportunities, seeing and not being competitive and knowing there is a place for all of us in the workplace and the business to succeed. So number three is learning and thinking about the importance of hiring to someone to do those low uh, energy, low uh, impact tasks to the bottom line. So If you are the CEO of a business and you're spending a lot of your time doing tasks that are kind of secretarial or something, tasks that drain your energy and you could hire an administrative assistant to do, realizing the importance of that and realizing that that is how you will be able to scale your business is really important. Number four, thinking before you act and having emotional maturity and being really thoughtful about almost all that you do. We all can't do it 100% of the time every day, but being very thoughtful about what you do and how it impacts others and how it impacts the business is very important. Number five is being accountable and responsible for what happens in the business, for what you do, for what you don't do, and taking responsibility for that. That's so important. Number six is being really dedicated to learning new skills, constantly learning, because your business is only going to grow to the extent to which you do or your team does. So understanding the importance of consistently learning new skills and new things and new ways to think and And new processes is so important. And then number seven, so important, learning to highlight everyone's success. Everybody has room to succeed. Everybody 
um, should support everyone. You shouldn't highlight wins from a kind of selfish position, but really recognize how everyone contributed in a win. But, you know, of course, understanding too how you contributed. So I would add a number eight to that and really you know, entrepreneurs really understand the importance of leadership. And I think leaders have all of these skills, but I always like to highlight leadership and, and bring that to the forefront of the conversation. And actually, I am going to add a ninth tip for becoming better at thinking like an entrepreneur than an employee. And I would add to that you have to be really great about creating boundaries. Not only not trying to be all things to all people, but also if you have clients or whatnot who are constantly demanding your time and you are at their whim and doing everything for them and not working on your goals in your business simultaneously and draining yourself, it is so important to learn how to create those boundaries because when you're an employee you're really like yes sure I'll do that no problem whatever and um, you really just cannot do that especially as an entrepreneur or a business owner because you're sacrificing yourself you're sacrificing your goals and sacrificing probably the health and productivity of your business at the same time by constantly just being at the beck and call of client. So create those boundaries. So important um, to learn that skill as an entrepreneur. So thank you, mompreneurs, for joining me on this episode. That turned out to be nine tips on how you can think more like an entrepreneur instead of an employee. And it will definitely bring you more success and growth in your business. If you love this episode, please leave us a review. It helps other mompreneurs find us. And I appreciate getting your feedback so much. Then don't forget to share this episode if you know another entrepreneur who may benefit from it. And then please subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss an episode. I have another amazing interview coming up this Monday. So we now have episodes coming out on Fridays and Mondays. And then thank you again for joining me on this episode. I'm so lucky to have you as a listener. I appreciate you. I'm here to support you and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Have a great weekend.